In America today, sexual assault still remains sexual assault. When you do something to a person that impacts their sexual characteristics or their secondary sex characteristics or their human body, it is a form of sexual assault and rape. Whether the person is awake or whether the person is asleep or whether the person has been put out by your people, it's still sexual assault. You are a person of color sexual assaulting a white man. How do you think that's going to play out in publicity across the land? You are a person of gayness. You're a person of lesbianness. How do you think it's going to look when you're sexually assaulting a trans man? When we talk about sexual assault, we have to be real. You have no rights to some other person's body or how they feel. Your life is your life. And the minute you crossed your line and crossed the line as a police officer in a position of power and authority and decided to put somebody in an info infiltration cell so that you could be the only ones to enter in while they're asleep or the only ones to provide them food then you ruined your own life not only did you ruin your life before the Lord God in heaven you played with a human life and then you didn't stop that person left they did their time they served their sentence they handled the crime that was launched against them by a female judge who just wanted to teach a moral lesson and that woman may never get out of hell when she dies. You see, she was completely wrong in everything she did. She utterly obliterated a human life with the help of gay female officers. Matronly, fat, ass dykes. And when I say this, I'm speaking the truth from a journalistic perspective. That those people were allowed to destroy a life. And white men were allowed to come and go as they plead pleased and they allowed Muslims to play with the mind and openly they failed before God the mind was altered only in terms of the ability to stay awake the mind was altered only in the fact that you tried to kill that person before when they were driving your jealousy of education your jealousy of intelligence your jealousy of a life that you've never lived caught you before God 